what if Pete Maravich was in the modern era of basketball? That is a common what if I see within the NBA community in general. That's a common um, just what if everybody even talks about, to be honest, because the guy was a dog back in the day. He was a great three point shooter. And a lot of people have told me that he would slot into this modern era very, very well. Um, I put him within the 2023 draft class. So it is um, with Victor Webanyana, all those guys. I'm going to be doing a four year simulation um, of this. He is coming in in his prime already just because I want him to be like really good just when he comes in. So, um, yeah, I'm going to sim to the end of the season and go to the draft and I'll let y'all know when I'm there. So coming back right now into the video, we are finally at the draft lottery. Now let's see who gets the number one pick and gets their hands on Webb and Yana or Pete Maravich. Um, to be honest, they're both going to be amazing. So I wouldn't doubt the first pick might go to Webb and Yana, but the Hornets, Wizards, Kings, Knicks, Magic, those are the top five. The Knicks got robbed like they usually do in the draft. I mean, it usually happens like that. Um, let's just see really who gets who. I'll take control of the team that gets him. So first pick. It's going to be P. Maravich. So they're going to actually pick P. Maravich. They're not going to just pick Webanyana and be like, oh, I'm going to pick Webanyana. Scoo Henderson goes second for some reason, and then Webanyana goes third. So um, he went to the Hornets, so I will take control of the Hornets. So yeah, I'll be right back. So I've officially selected the Hornets, yes, within the first four videos. I know I messed up by not selecting the team, so it kind of made the playoffs look ugly. But um, yeah, I finally figured out to do that. But P. Maravich is going to play alongside LaMelo Ball, which is going to be an absolutely insane duo. Um, I'm just going to say right through everything. I have obviously um, the like the team signs their own players and stuff like that. So they ended up um, signing Jonathan Isaac. And that's really about it, I think. I don't think they signed nobody else. So um, yeah, let's get straight into the rotation. Let's just see what the rotation looks like, and then I'll send the first season. It's not really much to talk about at the end of these seasons. Um, I'm just going to auto-generate rookies. I, I just don't care much, to be honest. Um, so, P. Maravich is obviously going to be playing that two position because he went to LaMelo Ball. If he went to a team like the Jazz or like the Knicks, something like that, I would make him play point guard, but there's just no reason here. Um, I want to put his minutes up to about 40. I want him getting the most minutes on the team, see how good he can be. And um, the shooting guard starting role and everything, see how good he can slot in. I just want to make sure his tendencies are good too. Um, yeah, he has pretty good shot tendencies. Just going to bring that up to about like a 92. I just wanted to make sure he does. Because, um, yeah, like players that come in who that come in from those um, eras have terrible tendencies usually. So, yeah, I'm going to bring up that three point tendency too, actually. Because that's way too low. Yeah, okay. So I'll just bring up three points on the to there, and then he'll develop the tendencies. So, um, yeah, let's go. Let's go uh, four seasons. So at the end of the first season, Luka Doncic, the GOAT himself, wins MVP like every single year. Pete Maravich ends up getting himself the rookie of the year. Amen Thompson gets the sixth man of the year. Chet Holmgren gets the defensive player of the year and LaMelo Ball gets the most improved player of the year. Um, good for him. So Pete Maravich ended up making an All-NBA team. Yeah, him and LaMelo made the All-NBA 13. That's pretty cool to see, to be honest. Um, the Hornets made the play-in tournament. I just want to see, I just want to look at um, in-depth stat st statistics. Oof. Damn. Um, 22 points, 5 rebounds, 7 assists, 1 steal, 49% from the field, 43% from the 3. Um, yeah, P. Maravich had a pretty damn good year. Good for him, to be honest. I knew uh, uh, the simulation was going to be a good one. So let's go straight into the simcast because we are in the playing tournament. Hopefully, it's a close game. It's not a blowout. This is kind of a blowout. Yeah, this is a blowout. So, um, yeah, we are going on to the playoffs. Let's go. We have to play the best team that I've seen in simulation ever, which is the Cavs. So, um, they obviously have Darius Garland, Donovan Mitchell, Evan Mobley, Jared Allen. So, um, yeah, this is we're definitely fighting an uphill battle in this series as they take game one. We take game two. They take game three. 
they take game four and they take game five knew that was kind of gonna happen we were fighting an uphill battle um Pete Maravich balled out in the playoffs didn't didn't have like I don't know if he had a bad game necessarily but definitely had a really good playoffs um so yeah you can't really say that he sold the bag Lamelo didn't look like he did too bad either so um yeah who's gonna win Cavs and the Grizzlies the best two teams or not the best two teams necessarily but two really good teams in simulation there's just in 2k you could just tell like it's really like the Cavs the Atlanta Hawks the um Pelicans Minnesota um Dallas kind of like they're just really good in simulation it's really not realistic at all but um yeah like I guess we'll just go with it player retirements LeBron retires Iguodala retires Rudy Gay retires um Nicholas Batum JaVel McGee Russell Westbrook goes to the Spurs D retired pretty early to be honest didn't expect that but um Staff retirements, just don't want my stuff to glitch. So I, I usually, like I got this glitch one time in this game. I don't know if it still does it to where I didn't go staff retirements, just sim through the whole off season. So um, yeah, I'm not trying to have that have that, have that happen. Damn, I keep messing up my words today. Like <laughs> Thunder have the most amount of picks that anybody has ever seen. So they're definitely gonna get whatever auto generated rookie came in to the league. Um, I'm not even going gonna go into the draft and look who they got like who really cares I'm just gonna look who we got so we didn't pick into the second round So we're not gonna bring any of those guys in which is understandable um, I think they have to resign uh, Lamelo. if the Hornets don't resign Lamelo, I Don't even know like they better resign Lamelo. I'm just gonna give Lamelo an offer just to give him an offer just so he, You know, he's kind of forced to come back because I'm not letting Lamelo go like at all so, um, yeah, we're bringing LaMelo back. So we obviously have no money. I mean, the team has no money. We have, we have five shooting guards. So, um, yeah, we have five shooting guards. I'm just going to bring in a couple players. I don't feel like, cause I know they're not going to sign any small forwards and we need small forwards bad. So I'm just going to bring in a couple small forwards and, um, yeah just continue with the simulation i know it's kind of going against the rules and everything but i just know that they're not going to bring in anybody at that small four spot and i think it just totally disregarded one of my signings for some odd reason um gordon hayward is not interested okay gordon hayward nobody cares honestly um yeah just i think it just disregarded all of my signings i hate how they do that in this if you if you put some of the stuff on simulation they, they disregard half your signings but i mean at least we brought in some good um role players we have decent team probably a play-in team again we have so many shooting guards they signed another shooting guard i don't know i don't i don't know why the computer just loves to make stupid decisions in this game but i mean it's it's 2k can't really can't get any better than this man like the computer in 2k has always been really really stupid but um yeah let's get into the second year of simulating um p maverick's got three more years to do some to make some shake or we're just gonna call this a bust so at the end of the second year p maravich wins the mvp had a really good year um really carried the hornets i don't know about lamella ball but i'm gonna say carry the hornets right now just to you know um say that but yeah he's taking a really good amount of threes 554 threes this whole year yeah no nah, um i i knew this was gonna be good i knew this was like p maravich can like it's just showing all right now that he can come into the league nowadays and, and really spark it really sparks him he really can um john rollins random um anthony black wins the six man of the year victor wabignano wins the defensive player of the year nick smith jr wins the uh, most improved and the coach of the year is the cleveland cavaliers coach because it's they're the best team in simulation um p maravich obviously all nba first team and Lamelo ball makes the all nba second team improving even more again so um it's really the Lamelo ball p maravich duo and they end up a three seed this year they're gonna have to play the bucks who have Giannis, Chris Middleton, Drew Holiday, basically the same team, but maybe a little bit worse. This Hornets team got significantly better. The computer actually made really good trades. I kind of want to see where um where we got those players from. I think it's in like the financial report somewhere. Um, 
I don't really know to be honest. It is somewhere in here, I know it is. I don't get why they made I don't like I know that the 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 settings aren't like that crazy like crazily, you know like just saw uh, what's it called? What's the word? Like confusing and stuff, but can y'all just add in like a tab that says trade history? If I'm if I'm missing it, just let me know in the comments. But just put in trade history. But um, yeah, now this team got Lamelo Ball, um, P. Maravich, obviously. They got Clint Capella in a trade. He went from Utah to Charlotte. They got Kai Jones. Uh, no, they they've been had him. Um, they got OG Ananobi. I think probably in free agency. Terry Rose here has been there. Um, Jakob Poto came here a couple years ago, I guess. Buddy Heald came here free agency, obviously. Rui Hachimura barely even played a game, but came here free agency. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good team, to be honest. Pretty deep team. We win game one. They win game two. We win game three. We win game four. And we win game five. So we are on to the second round officially. We have to play the Detroit Pistons, who currently have Cade Cunningham, obviously, Jaden Ivey, Sadiq Bey, Marvin Bagley, Jalen Dern pretty good young core i'm telling y'all i've been saying this about the pistons i feel like they have a very 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 good young core maybe one of the best in the league a lot of people don't agree with me when i say that but i feel like the pistons are going to be really good just give it give it time um we take game one though against them they take game two we take game three they take game four they take game five we're gonna go sim pass come on come on pistol pete come on come on we can't we can't be losing these come on Spark some, spark some, Pete Maravich. Come on. Close game. Not close. Nah, this game's done. We are officially out of the playoffs now. Um, the Cavs and the Kings go to the um, NBA Finals. The Kings have Victor Wembanyama. Yeah, basically just got lucky in the draft. To be honest, the Kings ain't signed to nobody. We already know that. Um, but the Kings end up winning the finals with Victor Wembanyama and. Um, yeah, Carmelo retires, Chris Paul retires, Al Warford retires, Mike Conley, Derrick Rose, etc., etc. I'm just going to skip right through to um, free agency and stuff because there's nothing that we need to see in here. Because obviously I have the auto-generated rookies, so there's nothing we need to see in there. Who, who really cares? I don't think the Hornets had a pick. Or they might have a pick, but I'll check in a second. Just, um, let me go check. Yeah, they had first round 27 pick who cares about that player progression um we kept Clint Capella around we gave him a big deal um we kept Terry Rozier kept um uh, Mark Williams Book Knight Kai Jones Buddy Heald and just added some older pieces just to see uh, probably not gonna play to be honest um but yeah we already know how the rotation is gonna look Lamella Ball Clint Capella all those guys are gonna be, gonna be playing a lot of minutes um, so yeah, let's get into the third year of simulation. So in the third year of simulation, Victor Webanyana has officially started his takeover. He is um, officially the MVP, 22-11, and um, two blocks a game. Crazy. Um, Chet Holmgren was the sixth man of the year, so he's not even starting anymore. Chet Holmgren isn't really that good in simulation. Um, I really noticed that a lot of the rookies that came in within this draft are not good in simulation this year like usual. Um, Victor Webanyana wins the defensive player of the year. Um, Sangoon was the most improved player. And Lamelo Ball, all for like all NBA first team. And P. Maravich is in the all NBA third team as he took kind of a step back this year. Kind of the efficient or not really the efficiency went down, but just in general his stats just went down a little bit. Um, the Hornets were still the third seed, really the same as last year. They have to go up against the Hawks, who are really notoriously good in simulation. But in this sim, they only really have Trey Young and DeJounte, and that's it. They have literally nobody else. So let's see if we can beat them. 1-0, 2-0, 3 4-1. Okay, I expected a 4-0. I'm not going to lie. I really did. Um, we got them in six games. Easy as that. P. Maravich showing out in the playoffs. The efficiency is definite, or the, fit, the the stats are going back up. My fault. Um, the Washington Wizards have Scoot Henderson, Bradley Beal, Franz Wagner, and um, Keegan Murray ended up going there. Kings let him walk for some odd reason. I don't know why they did that. Um, so 
We are going to win game one. They win game two. They take game three. They take game four. We take game five. We take game six. I trusted. I put my trust in the simulate through games. Now we are going to look at the simcast. It's a close game as of right now. Like it's either in simcast is either a blowout or it goes down to literally the buzzer beater. It's never like I don't know. It's yeah, we lost. We lost by seven. It's really nothing we can do um, at this point. Like P. Maravich is putting up really really good stats. There's nothing that he can really do differently to. Um, make this team even better so um yeah, let's just go through the let's just go through the rest the rockets and the Cavs make the finals it's um chris stops jabari smith yeah that rockets team is really good but they end up losing to the Cavs. like i said best team in simulation um kevin love demar DeRozan, and steph curry brooke lopez damian lillard draymond green all those guys end up retiring let's just go straight through the draft like i said who, who care or actually i'm gonna go to league meetings I hate it how the CPU does it sometimes, but they, they be approving the worst, the worst rules that I've ever seen. Um, let's just go straight through this. Team option, team and player option. So, y'all are going to be like, why are you doing this? That was the third season of, um, was that the second or third season? Yeah, we started in 2023, right? 2023 to 2024. Yeah. So, this is the third season, the end of the third season. Yeah, it is, because look. Um, I'm going to deny this player option. I'm going to let Pete Maravich go wherever he chooses. I just want to see. I really just want to see where he goes. Is this kind of going to be like a last dance type Michael Jordan S type, whatever you want to call it, like I did within the T-Mac. Um, Pete Maravich is going to get the most amount of offers from really anybody. And the Mavs, who do the Mavs have? They got to have Luka. If, I'm not going to lie. If if they if he can go to the Mavs right now, I'm accepting that. I don't care how unrealistic it is. I want to see Pete Maravich play alongside Luka badly, badly, because Luka's the best player always in Sims. Just let P. Maravich go. Let him go. Renounce the rights. I don't care. Yep, he left. P. Maravich is officially gone. Jimmy Butler ends up signing for the Hornets instead. Um, let's see where P. Maravich went. Let's see where he went. I want to check the Mavericks. Yep. 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 Nice. Nice. Let's go to the Mavericks. Straight to the Mavericks. Not even going to cut it. Not even going to do none of that. Straight to the Mavericks. Is it going to switch me to the Mavericks? I think, do I have to like, I think it's like glitch or something. Okay. Let's just look at the Mavericks right now. Mavericks, Pete Maravich, or actually I'm going to go, let me, let me just, let me just sim through all this real quick. So we can go to where the Mavericks actually made signings. We can go to their final team. So the Mavericks have Pete Maravich, Luka Doncic, Chris Wood, um, and just a lot of role players around them. Now this team, like, look at Luca's stats. Luca legitimately puts up a triple double every single year, and P. Maravich puts up almost a triple double, basically a double double every single year. If this team is not good, I'm done. Like I'm done if this team is not good. This team has to be good as him. Has to be. Let's get straight into the next season, just right now. Just let's go right through it. So at the end of the last season, LaMelo Ball says, you know what, P. Maravich? I don't need you, bro. It wins the MVP. Bailey Sherman is a rookie of the year. Six man of the year is Amari Bailey. Defensive player of the year is Giannis Antetokounmpo. And the coach of the year is somebody who I don't know. Now, Luka Doncic made the first team alongside LaMelo Ball. And P. Maravich made the third team again. The, the points per game kind of stayed the same as last year. Um, really, every just stat kind of stayed the same, except the efficiency went down a little bit. Um, the Mavs ended up being the fifth seed, which is not terrible. They have to play John Morant and whoever else. Yeah, whoever else is still at Memphis. Because usually what happens to Memphis and Sims real quick is that they keep John Morant. But they legitimately lose every uh, everybody else. Like they they don't keep anybody. Like they lose Desmond Bain. 
they lose Jaron Jackson, they lose everybody, and then when you get to like your fifth year, it's just John Morant. And that's it, they're like the eighth seed, and it's just John Morant and just like a bunch of 70s. This time they didn't, but oh, I actually almost simmed around. We take game two, um, they take game three, we take game four, we take game five, and we take game six. Sorry for just that was like really, really sloppy, but um, yeah, at least we won the round. I mean, <laughs> At least, uh, P. Maravich showed out, showed out in game six. Luka Doncic is Luka Doncic. He's going to do Luka Doncic things. Um, and we have to play the Kings who have Victor Webb and Yana. We have to play them again. And Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant said, you know what? I'm going to go team hop and go back and go, go play with the new, the new me at Sacramento. We take game two. We take game three. I was, bro I, I was about to i was about to be like bro we swept them and now we're, like we went like why are we in game seven we were up 3-0 we were up 3-0 nah like This is the worst performance I've seen in any of the career sims that I've ever done. Legitimately the worst performance that I've ever seen. Pete Maravich sold. Pete Maravich sold this game. Sold, 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 sold. Christian Wood didn't do very good either, but that's how we're going to end off the simulation, I guess. Let's see who wins the finals. Let's see who wins. Magic and Thunder. Thunder end up winning. But John Rollins, the new 7-3 GOAT himself that nobody knows. So, um, yeah, that's basically the end of the simulation. We did about four years with Pistol Pete within the new um, modern generation, whatever you want to call it. I will have more videos like this coming up. Um, like I said, within the past, I will start doing longer simulations once I um, get better equipment. And I will stream the longer simulations um, on Twitch soon i'm just i'm working towards everything uh, by just everything is kind of a mess right now just with really everything so i'm trying my best to stay consistent with videos and try to get out videos basically every single other day for you guys i'm trying my hardest to do it so um yeah it's been grateful and i'm out peace